and girls, first ever stream, at least recorded it is. It's a, a test stream really. See how things go. See everything is working properly. Seems like it's working so far, which is good. Getting some tables here sorted. I'm gonna be playing 24 tables on micro sticks. It's usually quite fun. Quite enjoyable to play as well. Fast paced. And with lots of action, more often than not. As you can imagine, the more tables you have, the more action, action you get, obviously. Do apologize in advance, I only have one screen here. Plan to get a secondary screen, which will help me a lot, obviously. I don't have it just now. Anyway, this is good enough to test stuff out. See all my computer cups and my internet connection and everything. All of those details. For those of you who never watched anyone playing 24 multi tabling. The f poker philosophy here, the strategy of the game is a bit different from perhaps the most popular genders, uh, popular types, formats for this game. If you watch sit and goes and tournaments, you'll find it's a bit weird, I'm sure. <laughs> it's a bit different, but we'll get there. You'll get the feel of it in no time. As you can see, just open some tables here. Just starting with um, about 70 big blinds or so, a bit more, maybe. Reducing risk and stress, maybe. I really, really, really like uh, micro stakes. The reason being that uh, you don't have to stress so much if you lose a hand or if you go on a on a downswing. At the end of the day, just a few few pounds, a few dollars, a couple of quid, and you still have loads of fun. And there's a good chance that you're gonna make a few change, a good session. In about an hour you can make about 10 quid or so, 10 dollars, that's a good session. Nothing much going on just now, just warming up, waiting for my tables to get sorted. I'm gonna get my uh, hand tracking software going here, which obviously keeps track of things for me while I'm busy doing something else. I will have plenty on my plate, so I can leave hand tracking to a third-party software. Very happy with that. It will be too much to control. It's quite good here. I'm gonna go crazy here. Just to scare them off. I really don't like limpers. Could be a bit more aggressive here, but I'm just starting, taking it easy. Trying to represent aces here. Hopefully he doesn't have an ace. If he doesn't have an ace, he's very likely to fold. If he has an ace though, I might be in, in trouble. And we got here our first pocket aces. Yeah, I didn't have an, didn't have the ace. Uh this guy raised, this guy called. This is a good scenario for me to raise crazy. Even if I only get the big blinds. I'm very happy with that. 
We're nearly on 24 tables now. The action is starting for real now. Yeah, we are on 24 tables. We've got a few uh, tables being idle. It's because I'm waiting for the um, big blind. But they are indeed open. No thanks. No thanks. I'm gonna pass that. Oh, this is a very good scenario here. Very happy that, that I managed to make him leave before you see the river. Obviously, the fun of the game is to see the river, you could say. But right now, I'm just trying to um, slowly build up my bankroll, which is which I'm starting from pretty much nothing, really. From a few quid. Trying to get as far as I can. Hopefully, uh, four figures would be awesome on the on the short term. See how far we can get here. Just gonna call this erase seven. That's good enough for me. Let's not go too crazy there. He's quite tight as a player as well, or so my uh, tracking system says. So sh chances are that he has a good hand. I'm gonna call here. I might have three bed now. Or to raise on him. Let's try to secure the hand because if we get a king, queen, or ace on the river, it's probably what he wants. And we don't want to give him the chance to see the last card. So that's uh, some money. Safely secured there. Still quite new to streaming. I mean, I tried in the past few years back. It's a bit different. A few things are brand new. Didn't, didn't exist uh, back at the time, on the early days of streaming. Yesterday, I, I did my first tests. My very first stream, a couple of sessions, a good session as well. I uh, I got about seven quid or eight quid yesterday from a one hour hour and twenty minute session. wasn't too bad. Happy with that. And uh, yeah, I didn't even know how to record to record it. Finally, today I managed to find it out. I just had to tick something on my Twitch options, on my Twitch settings. Uh, this is not awful, but the pot doesn't justify me betting into him, given that he is the aggressor, not me. It's his job to raise me, not my job to raise on him. We could hope that he has a king, and we could hope that I will get a 5 on the river. But he's a pretty tight player. He only plays 6% of possible hands. Chances are he has a, another set. Maybe better than mine. So I'll, I will always be behind unless I'm really, really lucky. So it's not worth it to, to call there. Well, at least not on the long run. That's what we are aiming for here. Long run profit, not instant profit. One could argue that if you're only looking to play a couple of hands only today and leave the game, you should have called there. I'm gonna raise here. It's not not a terrible position for an ace ten suited. And I get some blinds. That's okay. Oh pocket aces again. We love to see the pocket aces. Put a smile on my face straight away. Love it. Especially uh, when you are the small blind. It's a premium position to have pocket aces. Because what happens here is that I can afford to go crazy. Two people, one one guy raised, another guy called. I even it even looks like it's the same table from the beginning of our session. Probably isn't. We have a similar scenario. If I uh, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken. Managed to get uh, happy with that. I think the exact same thing happened last time. 
I uh, three re raised on top of their raise, and um, they were happy to give me three binds on the house. Can't complain. Easy, safe money, no risks there. Hmm, this is not too bad here. Uh, I won't raise though, but I will probably call if he raises. Because uh, the pot is not that awesome, to be honest. To make it this worthwhile, we probably need to raise like 10, five big blinds, that is. And, um, yeah, the gains and my outs were not that fantastic. Best case scenario, he would fold straight away. I'm gonna go crazy here. I really don't like limpers. I got two there. I'm gonna call this. This is a good hand to pay passively. Pocket sixes. Maybe I, I hit the jackpot on the flop. A little set would make me really happy. I'm gonna continuation bet here. Didn't manage to scare him off. Either he has um, a jack or maybe pocket something. I have two pairs, not too bad, not too bad. But um, the, the the fact that he called when I uh, on the on the flop, my continuation bet only goes to tell that he might have something. Maybe he was waiting for the flush, so that's why I want I want raise here. I will just let him raise, and I would call if he raised it. He didn't. Save money again. Oh, what? this guy is playing passively now. Chances are he doesn't have anything at all. Let's call that. Yeah. Nothing much. It's weird that he, does, he didn't uh, do a continuation bet just to see if I would fold. Probably wouldn't, but. At least we'll give, give him the chance to get that on the bag. The way he played, he didn't have any chance at all. Hmm. I'm gonna go crazy here. Again, I don't like limpers. Try to scare him off. Hopefully, it will call and fold to my continuation bet on the flop. Playing against a lot of limpers here. Let's see what happens. Didn't manage to scare him off. Got a pair. He's gonna play passively. Hopefully, he's waiting for the um, flush. Hopefully. Nah. Not sure what he was waiting for, but... Nothing great, apparently. Some easy money there. Can't complain with... Okay, continuation bet here. Got pocket tens there, on this and here. Quite promising. I'm just calling, playing passively, letting the other guy raise on me. Which is always uh, comfortable, I would say. Not that I don't like to be the aggressor. I really do. Uh, yeah, my outs are really terrible here. Not interested to play that. I could have played that uh, on a different scenario if I was not committed to build a, a bank roll. Nice and steady. If I was going for the uh, VIP system and farm some uh, VIP points, I would probably uh, keep going there. Oh, this is really good. I might even uh, call a Preflop all in with this hand, depending on who I'm facing. If he's a if it, it is a loose player or a tight player, everything suited. Let's raise here, get some blinds hopefully. Although this is a tricky position, because for a good player, they might think, oh, he's just trying to steal the blinds, so I'm going all the way. I have to call here because I have chances for the f for the flush. Hopefully he won't he won't raise again. Hopefully he will just uh, play passively, and he did, which is good. He allowed me to see the river, and now I can see it's not worth it. And he's uh, he's slightly tight as well. He only plays 17% of all possible hands, which goes to tell that the chances he had a queen were really high. Although the way he raised makes us feel like he was bluffing. Because he didn't um, 
do a continuation bet on the the fourth street but uh, then went crazy on the river if you guys wondering what I'm listening to I'm just listening to some uh, YouTube playlist some trap really like trap right now good vibes gets me sharp focused nothing not much to see there especially if I don't have a cup <laughs> again I do apologize that I don't have a, a second screen that allows me to constant, constantly check the chat and stuff but every now and then I have a quick pick oh this is Annoying because I only have 11 hands recorded from this guy, so 11 hands doesn't go to sell to tell a lot at all. I'm gonna call here just hope to to, to eat the queen, but I didn't. Very likely gonna fold there. This is this isn't the the biggest red I've ever seen. It's not even off the pot. If I wasn't playing so defensively, I'll probably uh, have keep going there. But I didn't because my odds were not great. But the way he raised goes to tell that not even half pot goes to tell that either his end is unbeatable and he's trying to bait me into a small raise, which is unlikely, or that he's just bluffing. He's not really sure if he can win the, the hand, so he only raises off pot. He might have, have had maybe cowboys on his hands. Maybe jacks. It's my best guess right there. Let me have a quick look here. Let's see how, how's it going. Refresh this, if there's anything new. Pocket aces. I'm tempted to just call, but I can't. So I'm gonna raise. Because it's quite an early position, and someone else could uh, feel tempted to raise. And I could have re raised afterwards. But I just decided to play safe. Let me see here what's going on. Not much so far. Good. Not. Uh, Neglecting anyone just yet, which is good. Hopefully, this time around, this session is being recorded. As yesterday, I didn't manage to do so. But I think that today it will work out. This guy here, it seems like he only wants to steal the blinds, so that's why I re raise him like crazy. But now he's, he's hanging on to it, so I'm just playing passively. Didn't have. What was that? Was that Ace. Was that Ace King? Need to replay that. Let's see. Could have raised that, but oh well. Just gonna call here. Chance for the straight there. Yeah, Ace King suited. Yeah, he did well. He played well. Uh, nothing much here. Might I might I might call just because he's raising like nothing much really. He had a set. He should have raised way more. Just gonna call there. I'm gonna play passively here. Hopefully. What's going uh, to happen here, hopefully, is that someone is going to try to eat the flush. Which it doesn't have just yet. Just yet. Chances for a uh, full house now. Getting trickier. I might call this. Just because I'm hoping that he's, uh, he has like a king of diamonds and he's trying to eat the uh, flush. If that's the case, I'm, uh, I'm safe. 
I'm gonna call this as well. I actually had a the full house on the on the river. <laughs> Nothing much I can do about that. Fair play. Cowboys here. I'm gonna re-raise this guy here, and hopefully he's gonna be thinking, "Oh yeah, you just wanted to, just wanted to steal my uh, my blinds, don't you?" Or maybe he's like, "Oh, you think I don't know that you think that um, you you think that uh, I'm just trying to steal your bl your big blinds from the small blind position?" And I'm gonna go crazy there, as I as I must. And he left. You could say I could play more defensively there. Could go easy on the guy, let him raise on me. But hey, if he really wants to see the last card, he needs to pay for it. You know what I mean? Let's watch that again. Again, I do apologize that I don't have a, another screen for these kind of things. Could uh, probably um, the secondary screen would be easier to have a, a highlight space on the stream but I'll take care of it very soon again just checking stuff out in some tests here hopefully at the end of this session I'll have a little something I'm gonna fake here I'm gonna fake that I don't have anything at all wait for him to raise on me now I need to raise There was a chance for flush there as well, if you noticed. So it's good that uh, I bet big before we see the uh, the the flop. Chances for a flush here. I bet big. I didn't allow him to see the um, the last card. So if he was going for the, if he was trying to get a flush, he must have been quite pissed off about my play. Uh, it's not not that much money, so I'm gonna call it. Yeah, got owned right here. But we have a split. Too bad for him. The same happened to me yesterday for even more blinds than that. I was go I was about to get like 100 big blinds on, or maybe more, like 150 big blinds on an all-in on the flop, I believe. And the RNG gods decided to be on uh, on my opponent's side that time, and split the pots for us with a straight. Oh, actually he had the same as me. I thought he had um, cowboys, but he didn't. He had ace king just as me. Fair enough. Fair enough. A few VIP points that we both got there. Can't complain. Uh, it is not the, the craziest of all ins, but it's a little something for my aces. Thank you very much for your cooperation, my good sir. Can't complain about that. Pretty flop all in. I think he was tilting because his stack was really small. So he has probably been uh, losing some cash on his session today. So he decided, screw it, I just want to get out of here, I'm going to go all in. And he did. Too bad I was playing with aces. Easy money right there. This table is pretty dead, so I'm going to live. Get a fresh new one with a few more players. Oops, could have called there. Oh well. Just one blind. Little misplay there. Need to focus a bit more. It's king, not too bad. Just gonna quickly check if I'm. Uh, Looking for, yeah, I'm looking for a table. It's idle, it seems. 
the stable is dying off as well. I'm not sure if I should stay here. Uh, nah. Doesn't tempt me. Especially not against two players. Not too bad. He might try to go for it. Yeah, let's do it. He has to pair. I have chances for the straight, but I didn't get it. Unfortunately. Then again, it wasn't a lot of money, really. Not gonna cry over it, if I'm very honest. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, um, could have play, could play passively there, but uh, I'll probably be playing against. I'm gonna call this. See what I get on the flop. It's not not a bad flop at all. I can play passively here. See what I get. Continuation bet there. Continuation bet here. Crazy raise here. Just because I don't like limbers and this table is dying off, so I'm gonna close it. Uh. I was gonna call, because the position is quite early. Chances are, I'm just gonna call here. Hopefully, someone is gonna get um, as the king of cubs, and he's gonna bet big on his flush against mine, and lose to my ace, high flush. Actually, gonna raise this a little bit more. If they have a set, they might call it. And if they have the king of cubs, they would call it, maybe. But such didn't happen. This table seems to be dying as well. Should probably close it. Uh, he's a pretty tight player. Well, not the tight tightest, but um, he plays only 20% of all possible hands. Which goes to tell that uh, he has good chances that his hand was fairly good, at least an ace. A few tables are dying off now. We got some new ones real quick, real quick. Hmm. This guy is quite loose, so he's probably gonna call if I raise him, even with a really bad hand. So even if he has like six, seven suited, he's probably gonna call that, cause he, cause he's so loose. Even re raise this. Mm, uh, not with pocket eights, that's for sure. That kind of player could even uh, be betting me there with uh, a, a lower a lower pocket pocket something pocket fives pocket fours but uh, this, this guy is pretty loose he plays 32% of possible hands it's, it's very likely that he's bluffing here but um, my hand is not the best to check that out Raise here. Chances for the straight here. Not too bad so far this uh, session. A couple of good hands. Can't really complain. Right, just uh, readjust this. No thanks. No thanks. Eh, yeah, why not? Hmm, is gonna win this. If anyone has done. 
which is very very possible oh am i being too slow now i lost all my bank time on that table it seems and this one as well right uh this is not too bad chances for the straight chances for the flush a few outs there let's see what we get and nobody re raised which is good but the hope is now over sure as hell i won't win this with the haste high they surely have something else Hit straight on the flop. Good for him. GG's. Well played. Continuation bad here. Trying to scare him off. And I failed miserably. He's stuck now. It's horrible. Will I. Mm. Yeah, pocket tens. He should have played a bit more aggressively, I guess. Defend his hand. He allowed me to see the river. If I had hit a pair higher than tens, he would be uh, on a bad spot. Didn't manage to scare this guy off. I'm gonna let him raise on me. Didn't raise on me. It was probably looking for the straight. Oh, this is awesome. I'm just gonna call this. Play passively. I might raise him now. Yeah, I'm gonna raise him now because I'm happy with this amount. So I'm gonna go crazy. This is enough money for me. And I don't want him to see um, any straight chances or flush chances there. Cut it off from the root. Save money. And I still got a few blinds there. Wasn't wasn't too bad of a deal to be honest. A little replay there. Play passively my ten, pocket tens. Passively here again and then here. That's already enough. About 11 big blinds on his raise. I'm happy to take 11 big blinds plus pot from there. If he had like king queen, it would be really bad to allow him to see the, the flop. Chances for um, hearts flush as well. So we don't really want to let him see the last card. Unle unless we are fighting for... Um, not sure what to do here. I'm going to raise for no reason. Oops. Miss uh, click there. Miss play on my pocket nines. That was awful. Um, yeah, unless we are fighting for a, a thousand... Uh, or let's say 100 blinds, no, not, not 100 blinds, but a thousand dollar spots. Unless you're fighting for the thousand dollar spot, yeah, you could, you could be playing a bit more passively there, trying to bait him on you with a set of tens. But that, that wasn't the case at all. We're happy to take as many blinds as we did there without much risks. Last replay here. Safe money right there. I'm gonna raise here. Obviously queens won't fold here. But I'm trying to represent the queens. This guy is pretty loose. He plays 40% almost of all possible hands. Which goes to, to tell that... He probably has a shit hand right now. And he's uh, dunk betting me. I'm gonna call just hoping for um, a flush now. Or a straight. Dunk betting is really bad. And I got. I hit the flush. Happy with that. Hopefully he doesn't have the king. And it doesn't seem like he has the king. I'm gonna. I'm not, not going to raise crazy, just off of uh, what he has to encourage him to to allow me to take that much. Because the pot is way bigger. Yeah, he fell, he fell for it. 
the reasons I called this was because it, it was donk betting. If, it, if you follow the poker script, if there is one, he should have just um, played passively, not as he did. So that got, that gave me a lot of information that I needed to make my decision right there. I'm gonna replay that for you. I might have been behind. He might have a. Uh, he might have had the ace, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna continue, do some continuation betting here. Hopefully, you're gonna scare him off. I failed, and now I have chances for. Oh, I have a straight. That's quite cool. Let's do off pot. See if he falls for the off pot bet. I don't think he did. Which is a shame. But oh hey, we got something in the end. Happy with that. Let's see if I can replay this. Quite all right. 68 cents. Possibly coming from behind on that end. I, I must have been behind on this, on the flop. Was hoping for a miracle and I got one. It's gonna call there. Chances for the flush are quite high. Uh, nah, not gonna call that. A 10 is ahead, a set is ahead, whatever diamond he might have on his end is ahead, because 9 is not that, not that high. Uh, this is rubbish. I'm going to do a continuation bet here. Let's try to scare him off, and I managed to do so. Oh, cowboys! Welcome. Welcome to tonight's session. Love the cowboys. This guy's pretty loose. He plays 33% of all possible hands. But he only played three anyway, so it doesn't doesn't say a lot about him. But I don't really fancy my chances. I don't think he has pocket aces. And I managed to scare him off on the flop. After a pretty massive Pre-flop raise. Happy with that. <laughs> Good session so far. Can't complain. Going one pretty well. No massive bad bets. I think I only have one really that I can remember. <sighs> this is not too terrible, but not not great either. Chances for the straight there. Chances for a weak flush, but better than no flush. He only has uh, 40 cents remaining on his stack. I'm probably behind right here. If he has a Pair of kings is enough for me to be behind, considering my outs. And uh, yeah, not worth it. Even if I would be ahead afterwards, after taking that call, the rewards wouldn't be that great because he only had 40 cents left. So too much risk for no gain, really. I do apologize that I don't have a second screen to keep up with chat if uh, there's anyone asking some questions. But I'm working on that. I should have one soon. Again, this is just a test stream just to see how things go and to check the quality of it. Uh, this guy is pretty tight. He only plays 14% of possible hands. So I'm going to stay away there. Just because chances are that he has a 
ace king and even if i'm baited by a ace on the flop i might be behind in other words shark respect shark gentlemanship i guess i suppose i'm gonna raise here yeah. uh this guy's pretty tight he only plays 14 percent of all possible hands so this obviously shows a queen queen plus pocket queen plus i'm guessing ja um, i'm guessing kings cowboys are aces if i'm very honest continuation bet here and really good position Ah, uh, Jack here. Jack there will kill me. A little, tiny bet here. Hopefully he doesn't have a Jack. If he has a Jack, I'm done. If not, I need to call this. And he does have a Jack. Oh, wait. What happened there? Did I miss something? What the hell happened there? I need to replay that. How did I win that end? Am I that distracted this table is dying off so i'm gonna leave it get a fresh one with some more players how did i win this ah oh. can't understand am i missing something there i must be surely i'm missing something but what i don't know doesn't he have a straight? He surely has a straight. Did he fold? You wouldn't fold that. We don't understand what just happened. This guy's pretty tight, so I don't, I won't, I won't trust my pocket. Um... Oh, we got a straight here. This is really good. This is really, really good. I should be way ahead. I can lose for um mm, ah. way ahead. No fear. I could lose for Jack King. But I don't think that will happen. It would be quite unfortunate if I lose for Jack King. Oh flush, of course. But hey, it wasn't that much cash in the end of the day. Mmm probably gonna go all in because he only has 50 cents or maybe he was trying to go for the flush I need to call that because it's just a really bad raise it was a really awful play he was quite lucky there he won that with a pair of nines I had a way better hand let me see here where was some um, replay thingy I really don't know what happened here because I'm pretty sure he has uh, he has a straight, but somehow I won I won the pot. I got no idea about what just happened there. Did I eat the flush? I didn't eat the flush. Bad call. He has the jack. Oh, of course. Ah, oh, where's the king? That's what everyone is asking. Now it all makes sense. He was betting with uh, a pair of tens, pretending to have a king. Hmm, nothing much to see here. Right, another replay there. A little highlight. So right now I have 24 tables, but one of them seems to be idle. Hmm. This can be good, actually. The betting isn't too crazy. And if he's going for the flush, there's a chance I could eat um, a full house. Uh, this is not what I wanted, but oh well. If he was going for the flush, I might have a tiny chance here, but no. All my hopes are gone now. Was hoping to eat the uh, full house, but I didn't. This table is dying, so I'm gonna get a fresh new one. 
quick pick at things here. Everything looks good. Again, just a test stream, check stuff out. Hoping that um, this time I managed to record the session so I can have a look after I'm done. And see what's, um, what's there to improve, what's good and what not. This is a good position for a king win, especially if no one else is, um, raises before me. I just limped, so I'm gonna go crazy because I don't like limpers. Kings here, cowboys. We love the cowboys. Let's see what we can get out of it. Uh, this is not awful. He might be trying to go for the flush, and if he was going for the flush, I just won the hand. Okay, now I, I start to believe that he has a 10. Actually, it's the straight on the very last card. Congratulations to you. This guy is uh, fairly loose. I'm just going to call. I should have raised there on that King Jack suited. A little mistake there. Need to play a bit faster now. Keep up. Else I'll start sitting out. Oops, mistake there. Misclick. Folded pocket fives. I don't want to do that, really. Um, Tiny raise, I'm going to call. Probably my king high is going to win that. I'm going to call here. Hope hopefully he only has a pair of jacks. Hopefully. If he has a full house with the jacks, I'm screwed. This is a tiny raise. I, I won't re-raise that. Just because... Yeah, he can have a 7. can have a... Oh, actually he has queens. Happy with that. But yeah, I wasn't... I'm just going to call here. I'm hoping someone else was, is going to raise. Because it's quite an early position. Gives room for all of these guys to re-raise a tiny bet of uh, just an extra big blind. So not many people with a good hand might be tempted to re-raise that. But it didn't happen. Too bad. Let's see how much money we can get out of these aces. <laughs> not much really. The best thing to do there would be to uh, raise pre-flop. But uh, yeah, try to go for the highest profit option. Trying to be sneaky there, but didn't pay off this time at least. Not a perfect section so far. A couple of mistakes here and there. Nothing big. Uh, it's, not, it's not like I'm giving away like 100 blinds to anyone really. Didn't happen so far. No bad bets or anything. But yeah, a couple of uh, little mistakes. Some pre-flop folding I shouldn't have done, but... Nothing crazy. Again, I took a long break from uh, multi-tabling. The last time I did it on a constant basis was about half an year ago. Just got back to it. If you know more about the music right now, it's at some random YouTube playlist of trap trap music helps me to focus stay sharp this, this is probably lost and it isn't good stuff i should have called there but i was checking something else so then i was too slow thinking about my decision there but it, it, actually in the end it was a good fold because they kept re-raising each other so it would be too much for my pocket sixes I'm going to do a continuation bet here. Hopefully he doesn't have a diamond. If he doesn't have a diamond, he, he will surely 100% is going to fold if he doesn't have a, a diamond. If he has a good diamond though, he might try to stick to it. And test the waters. Surely he has a diamond. I'm not sure if he's the king or the ace though. Chances for flush. Chances for straight. I have a pair of aces, and he got it because he had two pairs. He had a pair of aces and a pair of nines. Good I didn't go crazy there and bet too much. Just a small loss in the end. I'm going to replay that for you. I'm just going to call here. I'm going to try to be sneaky again, just because I'm on an early position on the table. 
hopefully someone else is gonna raise and I'll be I'll have the chance to check raise on him or on this case limp raise uh, not sure if I want to go crazy here I really don't want to go all in with this hand but I'm very tempted to f to play to get the blinds Hopefully I'll be able to walk away with the blinds and nothing else. If he gets out of hand. Oh, need to do a continuation bet here, but really don't want to. If they have pocket whatever, they're going to stick to it. Because it's fair to assume you are ahead with pockets whatever here on this situation. But I managed, managed to get it in the end. That was the best possible scenario, to be honest. Really happy with that. Really, really happy with that. Check that out, guys. Some easy money, probably coming from behind. And managing to cash that out without many issues. And without uh, high risk. That was really good. I'm very happy with that. And against two players, too. That's very rare to happen. Usually at least one of, one of them st sticks to it, making my life that much harder. I'm going to call that because it's, it's a tiny bet. That was the only reason why I called it. Considering the pot, it was alright to call it. Really happy with what happened here. 50 cent pot against two players. I only had ace high. Managed to get away with that. Mm, nothing much going on here, but I'm just gonna call it. Not interested on raising there. Uh, I can call this, but th this guy is pretty tight. He only plays 13% of all possible hands, which goes to tell that he, I'm pl probably playing against ace king plus. So he's gonna get he's gonna get all. Oh, he's not. He's respecting me. There's a shark as well, I guess. Obviously, he also has a hand tracking software telling him. Wait a second, that guy. He's also quite tight. We need to be careful. I'm gonna try to represent aces here. This is crazy. This is my best chance. If he raises with a pocket something, pocket jacks or pocket queens, he's gonna fold there. If he has aces though, he was is obviously gonna call it, and I'm screwed. Let's see what happens. And he respects me. Awesome. Best outcome possible there. I had nothing. I managed to... I'm gonna call here. Just because I think my hand is pretty secure. And now it's even more secure. I'm gonna do a tiny raise. Just because I want to keep him on, on game. I don't want to scare him, off, scare him off just yet. I have um, a full house with pocket aces there's a chance for um there was there was a chance not anymore i'm gonna raise less try making bait it trying to to make as much profit as i can from this end um because i'm raising so little he might think i'm just bluffing and he, and he can go all in as he did just because he thinks i'm trying to scare him off without uh, without anything much but i actually have a um, uh, it folded. What? Uh, oh my word. That was exactly what happened. Because I was raising so little. He thought that I was just bluffing. Trying to scare him off. So he tried to go for a similar play I did earlier. With my pocket sevens. With an ace on the table. Which wasn't reassuring at all. He tried to do the same that I did. Tried to scare off the enemy. With a crazy raise. But obviously this time around it, it, it would never work. I would never fall that. But it's, it's, it's crazy though that he raised so much. More than 80% or so of his uh, stack. I'm just going to call here. I will hope for um, a flush. An, an easy flush. Just because it's too many players limping. So I'm guessing some of them are just trying to be sneaky. With a good pocket something. Like pocket queens or pocket uh, kings. And trying to have a limp... And raise three bets. 
someone raises after them. That's why I didn't raise there with um, on on a premium position as well. I was I think yeah the big blind or the small blind. That's why I didn't raise. It was too dangerous. I'll probably just be losing maybe 10 to 12 blinds depending of of what would follow. Let's check this hand here again. A bit crazy because the guy tried to bluff me on the river with a crazy bet. Eight, about 80% of his stack was already on the table. I re-raise him. Look at that. I re-raise him and he folds. He folds 40 cents. What the heck is that? That was that was well 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 crazy. Maybe misclick. That that, that that's also actually something that can happen and probably happens quite often. Especially for players that just uh, got introduced to the to the game and to multi tabling, it's really easy to misclick something when you are rushing things. Not a replay there, just to check out again how crazy that was. No possible explanation other than um, you probably misclicked. You wanted to go all in, but you clicked full by mistake. Uh, I'm gonna raise here. I could uh, do a passive game, but I'm feeling like raising. Mixing up things a bit. And that was about 50, 60 big blinds I won there. This has been as an amazing session, to be honest. I must have made maybe... Trying to represent the ace here, being aggressive. If he doesn't have an ace, he's gonna fold, and he did. Uh, maybe I'm on, I don't know. I think it's safe to say that I, I made at least 5-6 quid profit right now. I can check that in a moment as well. I'm gonna raise here. Pocket 9s. Another replay there. How crazy was that? You almost go all in but then you fold. Someone explained that to me. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the case that he it's another reason actually that I just thought about besides the possible uh, misclicking he might also be playing with all his funds which is something nobody else ever sh should do if you only have like a couple of quid in your account don't play with a couple of quid you're gonna be forced you're gonna be gonna be uh, constantly under pressure I, sh I could have raised here like crazy just because I don't I hate when people limp like that I could try to scare him off um just because yeah we are always under pressure you're gonna be forced to do bad decisions if you're playing with all your funds you should play with maximum of like half your funds if you have like two quid on the account play with a pound maximum I, again, I could go crazy here, just to force this limber to um, to back off, but I didn't. Oh well. Again, I do apologize. This is a, just a, a test stream. I do apologize. I don't have um, a couple of screens just yet, which will drastically improve the stream. First reason being that I can um, do these highlights separately, so you don't have uh, other tables popping on top of it. And another reason being that I could be keeping track of the shots. I'm going to have a quick look shortly. See if anyone is asking any questions and whatnot. Uh, I'm going to go crazy here. And I'm going to raise the kings here because there's no other option for me. Hopefully he's going to think I'm just trying. No, he didn't think. I was just trying to steal his big blind. I'm, going to play. I'm forced to play passively here. I was hoping that someone else would raise and I could uh, limp raise. Didn't happen again. So I'm on a terrible, terrible position right now. So if someone has a pair of aces, he is way, way ahead of me right now. It makes little to no sense to call this. I can only hope for... Even a queen is bad on this situation. Because if they have a king, they're still going to own me. They're going to stack me. I don't want that. Uh, I'm tempted to call this. Uh, let's call it. And I'm tempted to call it again, believe it or not. If he does a, a tiny raise again, 
He didn't do a, a raise. And I was hoping this would be a 4. If that would be the 4 of spades and he was going for a, a flush, I would probably stack all his money. But now he's betting the... He's betting... Uh, he's trying to represent... Trying to represent the flush. And rightfully so. I don't blame him. Even if he doesn't have it. He's playing a good game. And there's nothing I can do about it. Other than folding. If that was... Um, the four of cubs though. That my friends. That would have been a very different story right there. Check out this play again. I was hoping for the four of cubs on the river here. That's why I, I was calling. And his raising wasn't crazy. That's another reason why I called. If he raised like a man, so to speak, I wouldn't have tried to go to, to stick to it that far. And he, he limped when he should have raised again. So it was a, a safe risk that I took at the end of the day. If that last card would be the four of, of spades, and if he was playing for the flush, Mm, dear oh dear I would make him cry Another look At that highlight I'm gonna call this. My hand isn't the best, but I'm hoping for like three eights or three sevens on the river, <laughs> or a chance for a for a, um, a straight, of course, which I didn't get, and only because I was a big blind, of course. So I wasn't losing much anyway. Uh, I really don't like this. I I feel like going super crazy here, and I'm gonna go super crazy here. Just gonna try to scare off the limpers. Make them believe I have pocket aces when I don't. I'm happy to take whatever from this from this table here. I'm happy with that. I took um, their blinds pretty safely. This guy is pretty tight. He only plays 13% of all possible hands. Which goes to tell that he's raising on a very good hand. I'm going to call uh, expecting a jackpot, which I had. Really lucky there. I need to call the... No, I actually need to raise. Just because on the next round, I'm the first one to take action. And I, I would need to check raise. And chances are that if he doesn't have anything on his hand, he wouldn't raise. He would just see the last card for free. And I want to make him pay. And play more riskly. I can go for the straight here, but my odds are awful. So I didn't go for it. Okay, quick look at the chat. Nothing much on the chat, that's alright. Making sure I'm not neglecting anybody. Actually, I might... Um, do a little test. A little shot check right there. See if it's working. Because again, this is my my third ever stream on tw uh, on Twitch, and the last time I streamed was years ago, about f almost five years ago, at the very beginning of, of it. So I'm not sure if everything is working properly or not. Do a test here. Yeah, it seems like it's working. Right. Good to know. Right, cowboys here. We love cowboys. Let's see what we can get out of it. I would be happy with uh, 30 big blinds would make me a happy man. Hmm, I'm gonna call this, hoping for uh, something crazy, which I had. Jackpot right there, boys. I need to be careful now, because... Um, no, because... Um, we've got lots of people in on game. And uh, some of them might have... A pocket freeze, which would be awful, awful, awful. Um, apparently nobody had a pocket freeze or anything crazy, really. 
This guy is pretty loose. He plays 40% of all possible hands, but he might have an S, so screw it. I should have called here with my pocket floors, but I didn't. And I didn't eat anything on the flop, so yeah, I was lucky to do a bad fold there. Which turned out to be a good fold. Where was it? Yeah, it was here. I should have called pre-flop. I didn't. But it turned out to be a bad good fold. So this is what I'm listening to right here. If you're wondering. Some really good tunes right there. I'm gonna play this passively. Because I'm playing against a reasonably tight player. He only plays 20% of all possible hands. So he might be playing an ace king there. So I need to be careful. I was hoping for a flush chance there. Ah, misclick there. Another, another mistake. Need to focus. Uh, small bet, so I'm gonna try to win this ace high. Let's see if I can win, it, win this ace high. Probably not, but and he keeps raising now. That's enough. I was hoping that he would just play passively. It's very very rare to win it. Um, whatever card high on these stakes. First of all, because people on these stakes are only um, looking to have some fun, really. You don't lose a lot, you don't win a lot. You mostly want to see the cards being turned on the table. Mostly you're looking to see that juicy river that can change everything, all the odds in your favor. Which is quite fun, I don't, I don't blame anyone for playing like that. But what we're trying to do here is to build a, a bankroll from scratch. I did transfer from my old poker account uh, 20 quid to this new account just to get me started. But I never ever invested money on the game. Or at least real money from my own wallet. So yeah, it, it is possible to build a pretty healthy um, bankroll. Just multi tabling as I am now. Take some time though, patience, resilience. But um, along the way, I'm gonna go crazy here. Uh, no, I'm not gonna, not gonna go crazy just because you might think that I'm just trying to steal his blinds because I'm right behind him and I'm the last person to call, which was the case. So it was too obvious, so I didn't raise there. Nothing much for, uh, to see there. So it is possible to, uh, to build a pretty good bankroll. The last time I played seriously, poker. I started with 30 quid from a friend and I think I got a little bonus from registering with some school site I think not not sure though there are many schools online schools poker schools that if you use a code when you register for the first time on the game you get some free cash to get you started which is the best thing you can do really first of all you have no pressure because it's not your money so you make better and more clear decisions you have a better game style if you're not risking too much of your own cash and second of all the learning curve for this game involves losing cash almost obligatorily um, even if you are if you're like if you do some research as you should, even if you do like a couple, uh, if you check a couple of websites before you start playing, and define exactly what you're gonna try to do. I'm gonna call here. I'm hoping these guys only call. They don't re-raise again. Because if they re-raise again, I'm just throwing money out the window. And they didn't re-raise again, so I was hoping to hit the jackpot here. I was hoping to have a, a three on the on the flop, which I didn't get. So I'm pretty behind now. And it really depends on how much they bet. To know if I'm gonna stick to it or not. Oh, they're just limping. That's good. Everyone is limping. Not this guy, though. He has sensed weakness, so he went for it. And very rightfully so. Uh, 
uh, this guy is pretty tight. He only plays 7% of all possible hands. So Shenzhen is hard. He has a hand better than mine. I would be hoping to get a 9 on the flop, which could very well happen. And I was a big blind, so I could probably call that. Now that I think about it. Next time. Just a blind that I lost there. No biggie. Oh, this is awesome right here. I hit the jackpot. And hopefully... One of them is playing pockets as well, pockets 3, 2s or 8s. And you're going go to you're gonna do the mistake of uh, going all in. There's a chance for a flush here now, so that's why I raise as well. It's a good bait. If someone is going for the the, the flush, they're going to call this uh, 5 blind uh, raise. And there we are. If they, would, if they are going for the... Um, for the flush, they fail miserably. And I got some easy safe money right here. I don't like this, I don't like this at all. And yeah, the good thing about this game is, um, besides working on what I already mentioned, your resilience and consistency of decision making. It's also a really good uh, eye to hand coordination exercise. I should have raised here. Another little mistake. It would be an easy raise. It would be an easy, easy win, I, I believe, because this guy is very loose. He's pl probably playing 6 7 suited. Actually, <laughs> I'll probably. No, I, would, I wouldn't lose, but I wouldn't go crazy. If someone would raise me on the on the river there, I probably had to fold. So I lost an opportunity there, but um, not a big one, to be honest. I'm going to call this. Why not? No, I'm well behind. There's nothing for me here. Need to fold right now. Or no. <laughs> uh, tempted, I'm really tempted to call this. I mean, I'm going to call it. Just because the pot makes it worthwhile. I was hoping for another heart. An ace or a king. But I didn't get it in the end. This guy is pretty loose. And he's probably just going to try to get the blinds here. With this tiny bet. That's why we raised him and he folded. Thank you very much for your for your cash, good sir. Nothing for me to see here. Hmm. This guy is not too loose. He plays 23% of all possible hands. If I re-raise him though, he only has he's playing a short, very short stack. If I re-raise him here, he's probably gonna go all in. And I don't, I don't want to go all in with um, Ace Queen. Therefore I fold. Oops, mistake here. Yet another one. Need to focus a bit more. It's also a new thing to play and be um, explaining my game style at the same time. Makes me lose a, a few more seconds on my reasoning, which makes all the difference in the end. Uh, I'm on, a, on the dealer position, so this is the last call for this round. And I need to bet, even if just little, I need to bet just to make it worth it. Just to make the pot a bit more worth it, because I have a really good hand. And whoever was the aggressor from the start is a friend of the king. I'm gonna raise pretty big now because there's a chance for the flush. If one of them is going for the flush or has a king, pair of kings, they were gonna call. Which I'm really happy with. This is really good. No spades and no chance for um, straights here. The worst thing that could happen here is that he has a set better than mine, which I don't think he has, so I'm going to re-raise him. 
He only has a pair of nines. He's a. I guess I need to say he's a pretty bad player. There's no array around it. Not sure. Not exactly sure what I was trying to do here. Besides giving me some cash, which, which I surely appreciate. Cannot complain about that. That's a replay for you guys. About 50 big blinds. Maybe more than 50 big blinds. Maybe 80? No. Um, mm. no. About 50 big blinds, I wonder. A really good session so far. No big losses. This guy is, is quite tight, so if he's re-raising me, he surely has a pocket something. Pocket Queens plus. And I would be behind with my Ace King, unless I eat whatever on the flop. Ah! Another mistake here. Should have called there. Unless someone goes crazy and re-raises the initial, the initial raise. Nobody did, but hey, this is a bad flop for me anyway. So I think it's the second time that I do a bad fold, which turns out to be a good fold. Because the RNG gods like to treat me tenderly. Ah, uh, nothing much to see there. I'm gonna raise here, surely. It's a really good spot to raise. They might think I'm just going to try to steal their blinds and play crazy. Mm, it's not worth it. He's, he's, he's betting the all pot. And my outs are really bad. I have no idea for how long I've been uh, streaming now. I should probably take a break soon. Either want to play for too long, especially when you are multi tabling, because again, it's all about mental resilience and concentration. The longer you play, obviously, the worse you're going to be playing. And the worse your decisions are going, to be, are going to be. So I might take a quick break shortly. This is a massive raise, but he's also quite open. He plays 75% of all possible hands. So I'm going to go... I should go crazy here. I really should. Because I don't think he has pocket kings or, or queens. I really should go crazy there. Make him go all in. But I just called. Because, you know, at the end of the day, even though... Your um, hand tracking uh, software is telling you he plays with shit hands all the time. There's still the chance that this time he's playing a good hand. Like kings or queens. Or if he's going for the flush, he's just on me right there. I mean, it was just bluffing. But it's tricky, you know. Sometimes if you're not 100% sure you are ahead. And even if you're playing against someone that's apparently is fish. In the sea. I'm gonna call here. I'm gonna do the slow play, trying to uh, check raise or limp raise there. Get the most profit possible because I'm on early position as well. Um, yeah, there's still the, the tiny chance that even if he's uh, apparently a bad player, that on that round and that round only, playing crazily as he does all the time, he has a good hand for that for that one time, you know. And all, 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 all out of the blue, you're gonna see pocket aces. On someone that plays the same way with pocket aces and a deuce seven. Well, I'm exa exaggerating, but plays the pocket aces the same way he plays king jack suited, maybe, or king jack. So, yeah, you never know for sure. I'm gonna go crazy here. I think this guy is gonna go all in. The guy I just stacked moments ago. He might be looking for retribution. Actually, he decided to respect me this time and fold. This guy, on the other hand, came to game, and came to game quite big, and he's going to go all in. I need to go all in, even if he has a set, which he doesn't, for now, at least. It's my it's my duty, you know, sometimes. Sometimes you're not too sure about the decision you're taking, but... It would be... Let's say, let's go as far as saying retarded. Not to take the chance. At the end of the day, bottom line is you gotta be in it to win it, isn't it? But he was playing like right here, the three bets there. He's playing like he eat the um, a set. He's playing like he eat a nine on the flop. 
and he has a set. He's playing exactly like that, but this time he didn't have it. He only had a, a higher pair than what the table was providing to the remaining players, but not to me on that case. And again, a really good session, this one. I must be on maybe more than 200 blinds profit, maybe maybe 300 blinds profit right now, which is really good. I think this is a dunk bet, if I'm not mistaken. I think I was the aggressor to start with, but he decided to dunk bet me. I'm just calling, letting him call, letting him raise into me. Easy money. Thank you very much. If I re-raise him on his dunk bet, I'll probably scare him away. That way, I uh, I gladly took as much money as I could that he just threw at my face. Not a replay at this I lie here. For enjoyment. Pocket kings, cowboys against pocket nines. And I made... About. Oh, I'm being too slow again. I set out because I'm out of uh, time bank. Uh, this guy is quite loose, but I don't want to risk it. Not with Ace King off suited. If I was having Ace King suited, maybe I would go for it. Again, what you're watching uh, right here is something a bit different from the uh, the mainstream poker rooms I guess first of all because it's micro stakes and not many players are playing that seriously they're just looking to have some fun they love to pray to the RNG gods to m allow them to win some cash going from behind until the river and hey I'm not criticizing or anything that's like the fun of poker you know when you beat all the odds, even though you're coming from be from behind. So I don't blame anyone that plays like that. Especially on these stakes where you don't lose much. It's always good fun to see the river. But it also makes the game a bit harder for someone who's trying to read the opponent. Because they're a bit more unpredictable. So that's one reason why I sometimes you see me folding cards you'd never fold otherwise especially not on a tournament so uh, for instance but yeah here i fold a bit more and the reason the main reason being that i'm trying to build a, a bank roll from scratch Right, I, I, it feels more. It feels like more than an hour streaming, huh? So I might take a little break. And again, this is a test stream just to check out how things go. All the stream is looking. I might go and uh, a ten will beat me here. And it, the chances that he has a ten are quite high, especially if you bet that much. I can't take this. It's not worth it. Too many things beat me there. Again, maybe if I were on a tournament, I would take the risk, but um, not right here, not right now. Happy to fold that. Uh, this guy is pretty loose. He plays 67% of all hands. He only played three hands, though, but I'm going to go crazy. And if he goes, he probably won't go all in because his stack is quite big. Usually people that go all in pretty flop are people with a short stack. Like 50 big blinds or so. Not more than that. I should have called here. Little mistake. Seems like I managed to scare him off. Which is good. Right. I'm just gonna check the shot, check the shot very quickly. Because I don't want to be neglecting anyone. <laughs> right. I'm gonna take a little break here. And
and hopefully I managed to record the session. Yesterday I failed to do so on my very first attempt. Hopefully today I'll be able to see how the session went and see what we can improve on the stream. This guy is quite loose. Well, he's not the loosest of players. 23% is not that bad for 376 and Let's see what he does here. If he tries to represent aces. Uh, that's, that's not a crazy bet at all. I think he has pocket queens. Now I believe he has an ace. Even pocket aces. So now I need to fold. If he would do... Oh, I should have called her. Oh my god, what a bad one. Need to focus a bit more and get some more practice to get good at good at this again. So if that guy would um, graze me only a little again, I'll probably go for it. But not if he, not if he bets as he did. Right. Oh, this is really good. Happy to go all in here. He probably has pocket kings. He has cowboys. And he's probably gonna lose to my um, aces. Yeah, pocket kings, as I thought. Let's hope the RNG gods are not on his side, and they're not. So, yeah, some good profit there. I really think I did my biggest mistake right here. This was my biggest mistake. I could have easily made some good profit here, but I misclicked the fold button. Which is a shame. But hey, that happens. It's all part of the game. Especially when you play these meta tables. Oh, look at that. I would have made so much. Oh well. Nothing we should be focusing on. And right here, it's the uh, clash of titans. Cowboys against aces. Luckily for me, this time I had the aces, not the cowboys. Because I could be on his shoes. Very likely so. Going all in with cowboys. Into aces. I'm gonna call here. Oh, jackpot right here. This is surely gonna make up for those um, pocket tens I fought earlier. What's my stack? My stack is still quite good. I'm gonna do a, a tiny raise just to be sure that if someone forgot to raise earlier, they, I'm gonna give them another chance to raise. Ah, uh, come on. Raise it. Don't be shy. God damn it. Now there's, there's a chance for the, f the straight. And chance for the flush. I'm gonna go crazy here. Hoping that they're trying to get the um, the straight or the flush. They don't have it just yet. Queen Jack would destroy me right here. Let's see what happens. But anyway, whatever happens... I'm compiled to, to go all the way. Even a queen beats me now. Are you actually serious? He needs to raise, because he must have a queen. Hopefully he won't raise too much. He needs to raise if he has a queen. 50 cents or even more. And there you go. It makes me go all in, but I don't want to. Look at that. That jack on the river destroyed my game. That's a shame. But hey, it's all part of the game. We need to take it as it comes. Good or bad. At the, at the end of the day, I didn't lose too much there. How much did I lose? I started with one... 
149. At the end of the day, I ended with... Ah, yeah, that's quite quite something. Maybe I lost like 60 cents. But it was a good bet, though. I was way ahead. I was way, way ahead here. But he decided to go for it with pocket queens, which is a really terrible play, given that the king is there. And he did, mid, did beat me in the end. What can I do here? I can't do jack here. Any queen would beat me here. Any flush. So I had to fold. And turns out... He had two queens. Really unfortunate. But oh, it's all part of it. <sighs> Nothing much to see here. This could have been like the most amazing session in a very long time. If I would eat at those pocket 10s and maybe the pocket 9s. Which I barely missed. One, because I did a mistake, press the wrong button. If you want me, I'm using some key binds here to, to fold, raise and call. Which are very easily set up. It would have been amazing if I hit um, those two opportunities. But still, I think this is a very, very good session indeed. I only have two tables now, so I'm going to check the session. Try to refresh this. Is this actually right? It's actually a negative session, but it felt like a really good one. Wow. Which was my biggest loss. So my... My biggest earnings... Right here... Seventy-five big blinds was my no. Actually, hundred big blinds it seems. Hmm. So about um sixty big blinds here was the biggest win, followed by fifty big blinds. 45, 44, and my biggest loss was 60 blinds, 60 big blinds, just as my biggest winning. But then it seems I, uh, I lost too many considerable amounts. That's really crazy, oh well. I guess those uh, two last plays really turned my session around to bed. Right, hope you enjoyed the stream. If you happen to uh, come across my channel, and if you're watching the, VO the VOD or uh, the VOD or the actual live thing, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully I'll be back. Again, this is just a test stream, checking how things go. Now I'm going to be very happy to watch and the recording and see what we can improve from there right I'm gonna eat the road now and catch you later